Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today, September 3rd, Android 15 has been released to the Android Open Source Project, which means we'll start seeing Android 15 on the Pixel devices in the coming weeks, as well as other Android devices. Now, I'll look really quick here on the phone at this top little article, then we'll switch over to the computer to see the bigger picture. So this way you'd be able to see exactly what all is coming to Android 15 and what is some of the developers able to do with their applications. Some of the stuff that's specifically directed to developers only, we'll actually just skip over. We will nitpick and find what is coming with Android 15. So going over this first paragraph here today, they're releasing Android 15 and making the source code available at Android Open Source Project, which means Android 15 will be available in supported Pixel devices in the coming weeks, as well as select devices from Samsung, Honor, Lenovo, Motorola, OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Sharp, Sony, Techno, Vivo, and Xiaomi. So now let's move over to the computer. Let's take a look at the bigger picture here, and we'll take a look at what is forthcoming. Now taking a look at the article here, this is the website. I'll place this link below the video inside of the description. This is the first paragraph that we've already gone over about what is happening, when it's happening, which devices, also down over here, this one's more specifically for developers. It's kind of giving them details about an API that helps them provide insight into the app startup, including the startup reason, the time spent in launch phases, the start temperature and more. So we'll skip this whole portion here just because it's more for the developers. So the stuff that's really mostly for us here that we can cherry pick and read details of what's new for Android 15 is improving typography and internationalism, uh, also camera and media improvements improving the user experience, also privacy and security enhancements. So if we kind of cherry pick through some of the stuff to kind of see what is new and upcoming, when it comes down to the typography, so everybody knows that Android devices are global. So there's a lot of diversity that goes through it. So now they're able to create a font family. And really what's happening is that they're able to have the text renderer will automatically adjust the values of the weight and the details to match the displaying text with compatible fonts. So like the font file on Android 15 for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean uh, is now a variable font, opening up new possibilities for creative typography. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on, you know, between Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and I believe a few others as well. So this way the fonts will be improved. Also with camera and media improvements, each Android release helps bring superior media and camera experiences to the users. So for example, for screens that contain both HDR and SDR, so high dynamic range, standard dynamic range, Android 15 allows you to control the HDR headroom. So this way you're able to prevent the SDR content from appearing too washed out. Also, Android 15 supports intelligently adjusting audio loudness and dynamic range compression levels for apps with AAC audio content. And also, this low light boost in Android 15 adjusts the exposure of the preview stream in low light conditions, enabling enhanced image previews, scanning QR codes in low light, and more. Advanced flash strength advancements in Android 15 enable precise control of flash intensity on, in both single and torch modes, while capturing images. Also, Android 15 extends universal MIDI packets, supports to virtual MIDI apps, enabling composition apps to control synthesizer apps. So pretty much what MIDI is, is connecting your device to, let's say like uh, some musical software or other instruments. So they're able to improve that here basically enabling composition apps to control synthesizer and probably a few additional things. Now, some of the stuff underneath improving the user experience, users can save their favorite split screen combinations for quick access and pin the taskbar on screen to quickly switch between apps for better large screen multitasking on Android 15. Also, Android 15 defaults to displaying apps edge to edge when they target uh, SDK 35. Also, the system bars will be transparent or translucent and content will draw behind by default. Also, Android 15 enables TalkBack to support Braille displays that are using the HID standard over both USB and secure Bluetooth to help Android support a wider range of Braille displays. On supported Android 15 devices, the NFC adapter allows you to request observe mode as well as register filters, enabling one tap transactions in many cases across multiple NFC capable applications. Android 15 will also greatly enhance the automatic Zen rules to apply apps to further customize attention management, which is do not disturb, rules by adding types, icons, trigger descriptions, and the ability to trigger the Zen device effects. So pretty much some improvements to do not disturb. 
Android 15 now includes OS level support for applications archiving and unarchiving. Archiving removes the APK and any cached files, but persists user data and returns the app as displayable through the launcher applications API. So this is something I've shown from before where you can archive applications. It takes everything off except for your user data. So then this way, when you return, everything just logs in automatically and, and super quick. And then also too, beginning with Android 15, 16 kilobyte page size support will be available on select devices as a developer option. When Android uses this larger page size, the initial testing shows an overall performance boost of 5 to 10% while using 9% less additional memory. So when you're searching through websites, you're able to have a better performance and it's taking up less memory, which I think is fantastic, giving you a better experience of whatever you're doing on your screen, especially if you're scrolling through websites and web pages. And then privacy and security enhancements. So private space in Android 15 lets users create a separate space on their device where they can keep sensitive apps away from prying eyes under an additional layer of authentic authentication. Some types of applications such as medical apps, launcher apps, and app stores may need to take additional steps to function as expected in a user's private space. Android 15 supports sign in using pass keys with a single tap, as well as support to autofill and save credentials to relevant input fields. Android 15 adds support to applications detect that they are you that they are being recorded so that you can inform the user that they are being recorded if your app is performing a sensitive operation. So that should be everything in this article that we're able to pick from. A lot of this is going to be for developers, but from everything that I was able to nitpick out of all this stuff, cherry pick out of all these different categories, this is for all the end users trying to make it consumable for us. So we went through the privacy and security enhancements, improving the user experience, camera and media improvements, uh, and also the improving typography and internationalism. So this was everything that I can grab out of this whole entire article. Now that Android 15 has been released for everybody to start working on, that means we will be able to see this being available and supported on Pixel devices in the coming weeks. So sometime, hopefully during September, maybe mid or end September is maybe when we'll see it, as well as all of these select devices, including Samsung. So this way we can get our Samsung One UI 7 or whatever One UI version they are coming out with. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.